comes to good old community connecting. Few tasks, um, and uh, uh, we have uh, engrams uh, for all the ages at the moment. So we need to think further through how do we first of all cut the uh, age to an older population that we are interested to look at, and um, a kind of uh, define the that it's uh, it's about risk factors related to viral uh, diseases but that's more like of a logical uh, thing that I think Ya and Janos uh, can solve because it was Janos's uh, brilliant idea to uh, uh, find risks by uh, uh, searching pre-existing conditions. And uh, we have uh, an amazing uh, advancement uh, with uh, Kevin, who managed to use dictionaries and really uh, find relevant heart diseases. We still need to find out list of words for pre-existing pre, pre and underlying health conditions. And uh, we are very close to finish the first task, like everything, including number of citations, does paper proof or like kind of deny the hypothesis, etc. Like everything we've described in the task, we will probably get it very soon. And Michael Wang is uh, working on that. Uh, and uh, we have uh, another member uh, working separately on um, comorbidities in general, which will be kind of, you know, introduction. And then we will have our risk tasks in depth, uh, which is everything like looks great. It seems we might do it even in time. Uh, the problem is that I feel there is kind of lack of cooperation and one uh, one uh, team uh, member doesn't aware what another does, even though everything happens kind of in one channel. And that's obviously uh, my problem. That means I do something wrong, which results in that, that there is no awareness what's going on around, which code has been written, where are this code, and uh, let's discuss on how can I organize it so it will be easily accessible and really clear where are we now and who did what. In which form would you like to kind of, you know, review that? Because for example, I add trailer cards, like I add comments to trailer cards and I add new code to trailer card, but I see that normally nobody goes again over the same trailer card. So how can I make kind of common knowledge base accessible for everybody? That's a very important feedback I would love to collect at this point. Yeah, I think I, uh, um, I don't really look at the Trello boards as much as I think I should. Uh, I think there is a lot of information on the Trello boards and that's all really good. Um, my initial like kind of hesitation is it like feels like um, if I edit the Trello card, it's like um, I am telling someone like this is like this is the new truth. Um, as, so, so I guess I'm just afraid to like edit them because I'm worried that like um, someone else might say like no, no, no like um, like this is this is actually like what should be happening. I guess like the Trello cards is, it seems like like the official source of information, and I don't want to like step on other people's toes if I edit them. So let's do th the following. Just tell me if you can't approve this concept, because like this concept will work only if you will go through this document. Do you think it will help if, for example, in a general uh, task risk, once a day? I will kind of post a document with an update. Who did what and what do we have? 
Yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Will you read these documents, though? Because there is a lot of information, and people are sick of documents as well. Hmm. Where, where are all the sources of this information? Uh, one of the sources of information is trailer cards. And in trailer cards, basically, you have only two lists that are relevant at the moment. It's data preparation list and that extraction list. There are, this is the place where we have almost everything what's going on now, okay? Other, other cards are pretty much irrelevant. You don't have to look at them at all. They are more like for, for internal uh, consumption and not related to what we do at the moment. Another uh, channel where, where things happen, it's a hard uh, risk channel and risk channel. Again, it's a lot to read, and it's a lot of information and various question, questions, etc. Like, uh, let's think together, and probably let's 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 not decide on it right now, because maybe you will want to kind of think about it, process this, and uh, come back and tell me, you know what, uh, we probably want. Uh, this in some specific form. GitHub, I went to GitHub today. It's also pretty hard to understand like the structure. Even though the GitHub is amazing, people are pulling code there. It's pretty cool, but it's not as descriptive as it potentially should be. So I'm trying to, for, to find a form on how to update everyone and how to kind of keep everyone cooperate and not to repeat the same tasks. Does it make sense? Yeah. Just a, just a point here, my guy, if I may add. Uh, since sure, we are please. In, since we're in the process of uh, putting down in, the, in one document uh, the current state, uh, and uh, Andrew will uh, help with that if I understand. So uh, Andrew is not here anyway. And uh, maybe we start a journal based on that. So when this is complete and it's uh, short, like a maximum of three pages, we can have uh, a fourth page uh, running as a journal and uh, have a single point of reference because frankly speaking, Trello and Slack uh, have a lot of noise because of the comments, the back and forth. When something settles and uh, it's in a final state, we can update the, the main document and have as a, as a reference. Uh, yes, and, and okay, that, that might work. Uh, another question is like, sometimes you have ready to go data sets, I've noticed, and you have a, a ready to go LDA book, which just requires editing. However, I've noticed that uh, guys who program prefer, often prefer, just to write everything from, from the scratch. Is there any specific reason for them? Is it more comfortable to work with your open code? Yeah, I think um, for, for my task, at least, it didn't really require like the LDA stuff. Um, it, I, I kind of wanted to understand the data source from the beginning. That's why I've been like talking a lot with Brandon about um, like, how do I like access all this data in like Kaggle kernels? Um, so I think like that's at least my, perf that's why I like prefer to uh, build my, my thing from scratch. Actually, this explains everything because I, I see some people even just, uh, they ignore existing data set and just pickle all the data by themselves. Probably that's a way to get acquainted with data. And that's why it's preferable to start working from scratch. I mean, I, I have used like two of the previous notebooks. Um, and then uh, uh, I, I'm using the V6 pickle just because it's the, the one that's like fully complete by Brandon. Um, I haven't switched to JSON just because I've already done pickle and I'm just gonna keep it because it's, I've done it. Uh, but I have used previous notebooks before. Um, 
just to copy some of the code and to make some things easier. Uh, so I might be one of the maybe outliers, I guess. But I have you. I have looked. At, I have looked at other notebooks to see if like if I can pull things out, if we can enrich what I currently have. But that's just me. Uh, Kevin, I actually I didn't find your 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 last notebook you've been talking about. Uh oh. I think I pulled it out of uh, Playground because uh, once it once it's out of Playground, you can't or I'm not sure the Playground in Colab is weird, and so I think I might have pulled it out of the Motive Playgrounds, which means it's like I think like it stopped sharing it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, plus, like that, that it added add all the CUI and um, other things. I should have it up and shared later today. Um, oh okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Hey Kevin, uh, just search for in your drive. It will may have okay. a copy of it. Okay, sure thing. Uh, uh, actually, and then, Franjali yes, sorry. I have an update, guys. Sorry. Uh, sorry. The search working for the uh, papers have been done. Uh, I just finished working on it. But then, uh, by this notebook yeah, that I have just created, we just need to enter the keywords. Uh, and the, it will automatically extract all the relevant papers according to it. And the format that the, that we had written earlier on the document, the output format of full list, the paper ID and other things that was given in the specific document, the format has been created. And we can just plug in all the keywords that we have and we can find the results according to it in the specified output format. Uh, I have a, a little question. Uh, please, uh, all uh, all who um, participates in this group and have some pieces of code ready, okay? After the call, please send it to me because I want to make sure we have everything and we didn't miss ever anything. At the moment, it looks a little bit messy. For example, uh, today on GitHub, I found uh, Branjalia uh, yours uh, and Grams with age, and they are simply amazing. And they're not, they even were not on a trailer card. So please, everybody, send me your pieces of code. I will combine everything, I will go through oh, everything. No. That was that one that uh, you tell told me to uh, put into GitHub that day. I think uh, someone has written, had written that one. It was not me. I just put, I, put I it into it GitHub. On. Yeah, but I have it on GitHub. But if you kind of have like links, notebooks, uh, whatever you have, inputs, outputs, please send me what you have, what you have yeah, done definitely. so far. Everybody uh, like in this group, if you do that, this will help a lot to collect everything and really understand, understand the state. Maybe, yeah. maybe not just, uh, not just for code, Maya, maybe for, for everything. Don't just collect uh, the notebooks or the scripts. Maybe each one puts an update of where he stands yes, at, yes. at the moment. Yes, yes, uh, code and output. Yes, uh, with so, some explanations. So we have some uh, broad image of where mm -hmm. every, everyone stands as we speak. Yeah, the documentation on the GitHub page would be very helpful, actually. I yeah, we are slowly pulling everything on there. It happens yeah. a little bit slow, but it happens. I think we'll get one guy to do the documentation stuff in our team only. Uh, someone who can just uh, point out what are the notebooks and what all they do. What are the purposes for the notebooks? So it will be clear to everyone when they visit the page. Actually, actually, I have um, a suggestion regarding that. Like, I know we're um, kind of going into like Google Docs, trying to track what everyone is doing and trying to come with like a centralized, you know, what is everyone working on? But I have a kind of far-fetched idea. What if we, what if we use some kind of visualization, like a flow chart, um, almost to show like everyone's progress, what steps they've taken as to what they're doing. And we can find out from that, like which people are doing the same around the similar things. Um, I don't know, I'll try and come with the visualization for that, but um, it sounds like a visual might be the best way to organize what everyone is doing. Uh, 
So it, it sounds amazing. Uh, Janis, can you please help us with finding someone who will be capable of doing the, the, uh, this uh, task and I will just collect everything and put everything together? Okay. Perfect. Maybe maybe putting uh, personal columns on Trello would be a, an initial idea for that. If we put one column for each person and uh, have cards with uh, what he's working on. Yeah, exactly. A summary, definitely. That would. Yeah, it's a bit different yeah. from how we use Trello now, but I think it will work for the, for what we are talking about now. Yes, yes. I'll I'll get like a draft like just like a fake visualization of what I'm thinking about and then we can um, start putting like real tasks in there once we collect all of them on Trello. That sounds good. Um, so I have a suggestion that may help for the code bit at least. Uh, so for instance, the uh, main uh, uh, coronavirus GitHub page, right? So that has multiple contributors to it. So added to the, uh, as a contributor to that page, it, I found it to be really because I found a bunch of notebooks and each author had sort of uh, documented their own notebooks. So if we could, have a com if we could just, uh, I think Anton has access to the, perm has permission access for that. So if we could add people from our group to that page, yeah, everyone we'll could at least yeah. document their own code. I was thinking that, yes. that, that someone needs to document what all the, all the notebooks are doing. Uh, yeah, no, I was saying that, so for instance, right now we don't have any standardized code, right? Or, or did I miss something? I mean, we're all sort of using our own notebooks and they're all a little bit different. Even, right? even, even if so, uh, even uh, though there are like quite a few very nice pieces of code that are general and possible to use for various tasks, even when the people get that code on a trailer, they still go into their own thing, and I don't understand this phenomena. Hmm. I, I yeah, no, I suppose that's just because everyone wants to have a feel of the data themselves. I guess that's what's happening. Um, yeah, I believe. But, but, but I believe in, yeah, I was talking in the sense that, for instance, I would. Uh, so, for instance, right now when I pick up again on the humidity task, which I haven't really touched in the last one week. I was thinking if I had access to Kevin's code, it would be nice to integrate that with my code because I think the results would really uh, benefit from that. But it's just that I can't find them easily. And it, it's just that in GitHub, because I, I don't know how, who all here are comfortable using GitHub. Like at least so, with just pull and push it. So let's do the, the following thing. We have a hero on the call almost all the major contri contributors except probably Robbie, who I will contact separately. Uh, so after this call, pre please take your time, send me notebooks, send me outputs with a very short explanation what it is because I will then go over it and read it myself anyway to make the most use of it, okay? And I will right. collect everything together. Does that work for everybody? Please don't forget. Please, it's important at this stage. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I'll send. Uh, I'll, so, should we send the uh, notebooks we'd already sent in the past so that it's easier for you right now? Otherwise, you'll have to scroll up here and there. Or, you can send or... me. You can. You can just. It's. It's. It will be perfect if you do this, that in private message. Because it will not mix up these messages in ch in the general channel and so on. Just send me in private, like, here is the code. It, it was meant to do this thing. Here is the output I've got. The output is not very good because, because, or this output is perfect because, because. And that's it. That will help me a lot. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. I think we should only put the codes that are new in the main section. Uh, so that everyone can at, at least get a notice of what uh, all the things are happening. And uh, uh, I think we should also update uh, the uh, collab or Kaggle kernel in the Trello card. So anybody can easily access the uh, collab notebook or Kaggle notebook at least. Uh, yeah, we have a quote shared among three main sources. It is collab, it is GitHub, and it is Kaggle. And now it's I, just a mess because we have, for example, code on GitHub, which is not in Kaggle and uh, Collab. We have code that is only on Collab, etc. 
uh, it's it's a mess. I have to I have to somehow uh, make a, make an or, an order of all these things so far because guys have done such an amazing job, and even if one piece of that just goes nowhere, wow, it it hurts. Um, so, do 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 you have any questions on on that uh, on at this point? No, I'm good. Amazing. So we will. I will see you in a general call, and I wait for you to submit the uh, submit the code to my private message. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very Thank much, you. guys. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.